MAMI stands for Maternal Health and Maternal Morbidity in Ireland and it's a big study, 2,800 first time mothers and we're following them through over one year, through pregnancy and then one year postpartum. And we started it really, we started it back in 2011 because we have absolutely no information on women's health once they leave the maternity hospital in this country. But what we're finding so far is that a large number of women have quite a large number of different problems but most of them aren't really talking about it to anybody and aren't in particular talking to any healthcare professional. Women feel embarrassed, they feel it's just me and so that there's a silence, a complete silence surrounding a lot of these issues. Women themselves don't know whether they might have a problem. You know, they might think it's just normal after pregnancy to be leaking urine a bit or to be a bit anxious or depressed. And it's only when you look at this study and you see how often it occurs that you know that yes, this is a problem. We found that one in three gave birth vaginally. One in three had a birth assisted with something like a forceps, a vacuum, some sort of instrument. And one in three women gave birth by cesarean section. In the area of sexual health, one in three women told us that they experienced painful sex at three months postpartum. Also at three months postpartum, one in four women told us that they hadn't resumed sexual intercourse. Four out of five women had absolutely no discussion with a healthcare professional about these problems. All of this can leave women and couples with unrealistic expectations. In the area of mental health issues, 70%, that's almost one in five women, told us that they experienced depression at three months postpartum. One in two of these women were not asked about it. With anxiety, 28% told us they experienced anxiety at three months postpartum. And again, one in two women told us that we're not asked about it at all by a healthcare professional. In terms of leaking urine, one in two women leaked some amount of urine three months after the baby's birth. Three out of four women were not asked about it by a healthcare professional. In the area of relationships, one in five women told us that they were experiencing some form of relationship difficulty at three months postpartum. Nine out of ten women had not been asked about it by a healthcare professional. In the area of pelvic girdle pain, over two thirds of women told us that they had pelvic pain during pregnancy. One in three women told us that they still had pelvic pain 12 months after their baby's birth. Almost two thirds had not been asked about it by a healthcare professional. And if you're a woman that has any one of these problems, please, as soon as you finish listening to this, go lift the phone, talk to someone, get help, and get yourself completely better.